Our serpentine coil design is, is different than the traditional helical style coil. Um, it's really the way the coil itself is constructed. If you, if you understand how one of these heaters is, is built, it's basically a burner that blasts a flame and hot air up through the center of a coil. Uh, so it's like a tunnel and the coil surrounds that outside of a, a tunnel. So a helicoil is really just a, a tightly wound pipe that's very close together that wraps around and around and around and the fire goes up through the middle. With the serpentine, there's, it's a spaced out coil with gaps in it and it actually winds back and forth many times as it goes you know, back and forth across that flame. So the difference is as far as how it heats is on a helicoil, you only have the flame hitting that inside surface of the pipes. So you've got hot spots and cold spots. You've got a real hot spot along the edge of that pipe. You've got colder spots on the outside, so it's not as efficient. Um, but also, you know, you, you, that's a lot of heat being applied to that one specific spot in the pipe. In the, in the serpentine, it's, it's because it's winding back and forth and there's gaps in between those pipes, the heat can completely wrap around that, that coil. So you're getting heating on the inside, on the sides, on the outside of that coil. Plus, because it's going back and forth into that hot zone multiple times, it's picking up heat every time it does that before it leaves the heater. So you've got much more heat efficiency. You've got more consistent heat because it's heating the whole pipe full of, of oil and not just the inner side. Um, it's, it's just a much more efficient design. And some of the advantage of that, besides the, the heat efficiency, is you know, we talked about maintenance. Um, if you need to maintain one of these, if you have a hole in a helicoil pipe, you got to throw the whole thing out. I mean, you can go in and try to patch it, but it is just a matter of time. And that's not going to hold. You're going to have to ditch the whole coil. That's an expensive proposition. And the serpentine, because there are gaps between those, you can get in, you can cut out a section of pipe, you can replace it very quickly and uh, hydro test it and you're back up and running again very quickly. You're not waiting for another coil to be built. You know, if if uh, after 20, 25 years you do need a new coil, you can also build a replacement coil and just pull out the old one, insert the new one, hook it back up and you're ready to go. But um, it's much more easy to maintain the serpentine coil than it is the helical coil.